we commentate our own match. We commentate our own match? No, that's not a good idea, bro. <laughs> Wait, what happened to Key? <laughs> Key lost to Kiros. No, he lost to me. And Kiros and losers. Oh, wow. Good stuff, Rogers. Anyway, getting into this match, we got, I already said it, Full Adden, Nico on PS2. Sorty versus Sorty. Uh, Shulk versus Lucina. Range versus Range. Fire Emblem versus Xenoblade. Both Game those that games just got a I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Relax. <laughs> game that just got a AAA release versus game that's about to get a AAA Hell release. yeah. Now, I'm not going to voice my opinions about Shulk on commentary. But Shulk's a slimy. Uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> <Shulk> <laughs> anyway. I mean, anyone who's following you on Twitter, I think, knows your <laughs> thoughts at this point. <laughs> After a wow, went deep with a speed art active, and that's going to be the stock taken almost within 45 seconds. And for the immediate runoff fair with that speed, securing the lead in this game one. Zero hesitation, and all of a sudden, just continuing some of this momentum, although he does get blood trapped by the short hop nair. Vladin went for the up B, trying to stage spike him, but didn't quite get it. Shields safely the with the backslash. Wow, caught him with the counter, and that'll be the first stock going to Vladin as well. Back and forth so far. Yeah, excellent work from Vladin. He just knew that that jump art wasn't active, so Nico couldn't switch to that midair and just had no choice but to go for the early Ooh. timing. Got Easy food for the counter. Oh, missing these follow ups a little bit. I feel like he's. Because Vladin's DIing up and in, so Nico's dashing a little bit further than he needs to, which gives Vladin enough time to air dodge out of, the, out of the combos. But at the same time, Shulk does have a Vortex in this game. It is not too hard for him to catch your air dodge after, after you've thrown it out. All right, how's he going to not die in this situation? Okay. Well, he Never isn't, mind. especially <laughs> with that smash art fair <laughs> off stage. He's going to be easily gone at 84%. All right, Vladin down a bit. Nico got him with that ledge pressure. Nico's ledge pressure is, is famous at this point. It is renowned. Famous for his ledge pressure. It is unmatched in SoCal. I don't know about that. But, uh, oh, well. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Famous for his Shulk ledge pressure, even in Smash 4. Good luck getting off the ledge versus this man. Just no escape, but that parry is going to be a start with the Dolphin Slash out of shield. It's frame 6 for some reason. That's disgusting. That is actually disgusting. That's like, that's Yoshi's Nair. <laughs> that shouldn't be a thing. I mean, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's an out of shield option you got to watch out for. Fair enough. Back here onto the shield art, so not going to be registering too much damage. Nico still on and have two stocks in the tank. Oh! He footstooled him! He went all the way down there and footstooled him! No way, as you could just see with a little icon off stream. What a gangster! <laughs> That's gangster! <laughs> no fear. Usually when you do that, it like you do it slowly and it's when they're jumping up. But he went so low for it! <laughs> No point in making a highlight real play, though, if he can't close out this first game. Tough once again, stuck off stage versus Shulk. Honestly, once you get to the ledge, wow, he missed the punish on that parry. That's unfortunate. Didn't fall for the tomahawk in his jump mode, though. Got him with that punish out of shield. Overextended, and now he put himself at the ledge. No. Approaching attack, no. Not quite the nair through the platform that he wanted. That air slash out of shield might be punished, but... Oh, wow, that is... Dude, that was... Okay, all right, that was an unfortunate series of events, but Vladin is able to, he still has a chance at a redemption. He Smash threw him the wrong way. <laughs> Bit unfortunate, and now Smash Heart is going to expire. Time down Smash Heart, he ran off. He didn't want to get hit by it, but either way, he's going to die. Yeah, Yeah. just with a re-grab, had no hope there. The fair will catch him at the ledge, and Nico is going to take game one. You have to think about it in that situation. You're going to die to a Smash Heart fair and a non-Smash Heart fair, so putting yourself back at the ledge was a little bit of a risky play. Mm -hmm. Vladin was just forced to pick his poison there. And right, for real, yeah. <laughs> it's a really good way to put it. <laughs> All right, Nico taking that game one over Vladin. Very clean game, very entertaining so far. I, th I believe they went back to PS2, if I'm not mistaken. I think so, but we're going to see in just a moment. All right, getting into this game two. How's it gonna go compared to game one? I wonder what Vladin's gonna do differently. I feel like his game plan was solid. He just dropped a couple of things and Nico was just off. Nico was, his less traps were on point and his edge guards were super on point. Down throw with the Buster Art activated will put Vladin up to 40%. Bit of there's, an early percent lead, but has to continue. So here's the fu funny part about uh, Buster mode. A lot of people tend to always respect it a lot, which is a good idea if he has shield mode on deck. But if, he, if he's already used his shield mode and he's in Buster, honestly, you're, he should be just as scared as you if, as you are 
of him, and he almost died there. But he didn't, he actually made it back. That F smash from center stage at 68% after the hit, and that almost did it. We saw the red sparks. Right, that was a very like insane F smash call out by Nico, catching that from Vladin. Because Vladin does love to be in the air a lot with Lucina. You know, her aerials are, are absurd. 10% so, later, and that probably would have been the stock. All right, makes it back. Vlad's recoveries are on point. That was a free F smash, but he ran off and got hit by the up. <laughs> yeah, Vladin just landed another footstool. That one probably accidental, but he just saw blood in the water and rushed in a bit too hastily. He neutral dead up while Nico was trying to back throw him, and he honestly lucked out by Nico missing that grab. Like, he just, Nico just did it too early. Right now, Vladin has like a third lease on life, not even a second. Oh. Has him off stage once again. He gets the edge guard. Clean, catching that air dodge on stay or onto the ledge. Yeah, Suboptimal angle on the on the air dodge. I believe if he just would have air dodged straight to the left, he would have been able to grab or Honest, in straight that to the right. Rather. I think the Nair like would have clipped him. Or it could have like it, it, it could have clipped him either way. Because air dodge, you have you actually have a lot of time to uh or more than you have like more than four frames to catch even a perfect air dodge to ledge. Uh yeah. Yeah, I suppose. On top so. of the two frame as well. Mm -hmm. But the Nair might not have actually covered that angle. You're right. Right. Down tilt from Nico has so much range. It just scoops from so far away. That's that two scoops coming out right there. So Vladin punishing that misspace fair with the up B. Got him with the Nair. Has him once again off stage. It's insane because these characters edge guarding, edge guard the, the hell out of each other. I mean, these are just two of the in most. These are two characters that counter each other. You could really right, say. it's it's insane. They edge guard each other. Uh, Shulk does get the range benefit, but Lucini does have the frame data on deck. Mm -hmm. Shulk has those Minados and more uh, freedom off stage, but Lucina, like again, the frame data. Uh, I'm not sure on the aerial drift. I believe Lucina does beat him out in the aerial drift. I believe the damage output is pretty similar between the two of them. So, mm -hmm. no, unfortunate. He's going to be wow, that second stock gone. Just a simple mental lapse, and that's all it takes. Switches straight to Buster right here. Right here is what I mean. He has no shield mode on deck. So if you do hit him, you do get a fault. You do get, like, a you can convert. Dashing in, back and forth. Speed art coming up. So now he's just going to be approaching with some of these. Woo! Okay. Cut his jump. Okay, he read the jump, but he wanted to switch to smash first. Got that, the roll inwards with the up smash. That reaction. <laughs> Clean play from Nico taking a dominant game two. And I'm trying to think of something other than this is a, than a this is a good result pun, but really that's all it was for him. It just everything that he seemed to throw out, it just worked. The 50-50s were on point. Some may call it luck, but when you've just been it's in your luck. opponent's head, it is not luck. As, no, it isn't. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course. He just been he was able to react to what Vladin was doing and Right. I don't want to say predictions, but calculations. Exactly. It's like calculating and reacting at the same time. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm very proud of you for not making the good result fun. Very proud. Because <laughs> I would have. Well, if I thought of it. And we would have lost all our viewers. And we would have lost all our viewers. Anyway. Carries the down tilt though and gets the rapid jab as his reward. Switching to the blonde Shulk is the counter pick. Oh, he's dead. Ooh, nice tech. I had faith Vladim would get the dare on that, but Vladim opted instead to go for a safer path, and it's working out still. He hasn't, like, gotten reversal. He hasn't lost his, like, well, until now. Yeah, Vladim's been playing this third match fairly grounded so far, and that's probably an immediate answer to the lack of speed arts that's been coming out from Nico. But right. nevertheless, it's a bit of shift in strategy. Ooh, got him with that falling upper from the platform on the on Nico's way up, securing that first stock. Vladin with I think the first first stock lead in the set, maybe, or maybe I'm just completely wrong and I'm remembering it wrong. But Vladin nonetheless does have the lead. I mean, it's has to play around the smash mode. I mean, it certainly seems that way. The way that Nico was able to just dominate the first two games from start to finish. I feel like retreating to ledge versus smash mode may like. It puts you at ledge, but at the same time, when you think about your other options, you're like, uh, what, what, what am I going to do? Run past him? Roll past him? That's like the most obvious one. Jump? You're, you're going to get, you know, he has a lot of... Shulk dictates the air around him. It's, it's such a wide range, too, because his sword is so big. 
But at the same time, I think standing your ground and reacting to him approaching to you instead of running the ledge may be a better better situation, at least at least once or twice, instead of always going back to ledge. Vlad, he wasn't able to capitalize off of that inward air dodge from Nico, but this time he's going to return safely with that air slash. Nico finally has the speed Woo! art, but going to be met. out his dash jump in. Is he going to die? He should, yeah. Went deep with the fair. It's a very clean game coming out from Vlad. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is textbook Lucina, just right. from any character. Showing very, like, his knowledge in the matchup is very, oh, he's, is he dead? Oh my goodness! Nico! That was, a, that was a Nico stock if I've ever seen one. Just an immediate response. 70% after the hit, but with shield on deck and already halfway off stage, that's dead with room Even to Even without Smash Mode, he was, he was gonna get gimped if he got hit by that. Like, he had no option. He had no air dodge and he had no jump. He was gonna get hit by that. Absolutely. That's Blast Zone with room to spare. Oh yeah. <laughs> room to spare. Down tilt's gonna put him back off stage, but this is really the ledge weird. with the Dolphin Flash. <laughs> oh! I thought he was just gonna run off down air. Oh, oh, gets the shield Aladdin break, wins. though. That's going to be the third game in the bag for Aladdin. <laughs> Hard punish with a second shield breaker to just put him to that left blast zone. Aladdin is still alive and kicking in this set. Signs and of life. He's showing such like good knowledge of this matchup. The way he's punishing his drift in fares, the way he's edge guarding him, the way he's uh, getting out of his pressure situations. It's truly a sight to behold. Take notes if you want to learn how to fight Shulk. Valadin is on display right now, showing how to do it. And Nico showing how to play it. Getting into this game four on, on stadium again. And not only that, the amount of times that Valadin has been able to parry Nico's tilts in particular, they just show such mastery of his approach options. The spacing from Valadin right now is be beautiful. It's artful. Look at him. Look at the way he's beating him in shield mode. Now, fighting shield mode is actually like very much not worth it, but I do it because... Like it's you barely get any damage even when you do beat him, but it's it'll it'll stall out the shield, and it'll like you plant seeds in your opponent while you're doing it, so it's not useless. No, absolutely, it's just so laborious the first time you want to do it, but this right. time he's gonna go off stage for the fair. It just discourages them for going for it for a second time, which is the real victory there. But it's just so difficult. Right. Went for the high jump, Vladin catching drift in air dodge on stage. Went for the runoff fair. It was a good idea, but he didn't execute it quite as well as he wanted, as well as Nico drifting further down than he expected. That throw. Woo! Good Sorry. parry this time from the aerial, and that's going to be an immediate back air from a response. Vladin. I'm getting hyped. <laughs> this is hype. He's flying through Nico at the moment. Nico not out of this game yet. Vladin may have the lead, but Nico does know what needs to be done. Vladin right now. He's calling out his jumps and juggling him for it. So much damage on the board. Has him off stage. Smash good art. parry. Not only a good parry, a necessary parry oh, from Vladin. Absolutely. Excellent way to put it. Vladin is dominant this game. Is he? Okay, that shield mode, he had to do that. Because Vladin could have gotten a guaranteed F smash there, an up air. That smash, like, with the wrong DI, would have killed. Is he dead? I, I don't think he can make that back. No, he Ooh. cannot. Does take Vladin down in the process, so... Finally gets something on the board, but... Staring each other down. Nico switches, switches the shield immediately. Might have been a misinput, but at the same time, he might have also expected to get hit by the Nair. Ooh, catching his jumps in, jump-ins once again. Vladin is dominating this game. I mean, this one is, this one's just over almost before it begun. Look at the way that he's approaching. He's not biting every time he wants to go for it. Right. So Nico's changed up his neutral a little bit. He's playing a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more patient. But at the same time, he hasn't stopped approaching. He hasn't stopped trying to get in. But flat in right now. Spot dodge this time. Got him with that nair. Didn't read the jump. Gets reversal on his way up to the stage. Gonna roll around with the jump art on deck is going to be able to get out of that one without having to use the air slash, but now how out oh, well, once again. Vladin is impressing me on so many levels right now. And I'm sure same could be shown, uh, same could be said for the viewers at home. And the, yeah, the viewers at home, there's no one else really watching. Another the Nair into up air, true combo, taking that fourth game with a two stock at 76% after a missed tech as well. Vladin dominating these games. I wonder how Nico's going to switch it up.
And I'm this sorry. Is, this is I'm not. A lot. Oh my god. <laughs> I would have forgiven you if this was Switch Fest, but it's not. <laughs> no, but as you said, this isn't your ordinary opponent. This is number four in California, top seeded today, second at Port Priority, Nico. And you know the way this is going at the moment, like get your brooms out because this could be a reverse sweep. Could be. I, Vlad, and I was just talking to him earlier. He's like, I was like, Vlad, dude. We should go to that Senkal tournament. He's like, I don't like traveling just man. He's like, why? He's like, I'm not good enough. I'm like, yeah, you're not good enough, huh? <laughs> you're not good enough, huh? I mean, anytime you say that, just send him this VOD. And yeah, for real. Even if he loses now, like, it, the result at this point proves little for how skilled both these players are. Mm -hmm. Like, it, the skill has been demonstrated. I mean, Vladin is just undoubtedly going to make his way onto the PR next season. I, I hope, at least, it would be a travesty if not. Goodness. Rolling in and catching that jump. He's just, that's all he's done. He's catching a lot of his jumps. Shulk able to make that back. Interesting. Didn't even have to deploy jump art to get back, but this time still over 100% in the hole. How is Nico going to. Though I can't count on Shulk. Nico and Shulk together is a deadly combination. And you know, you know how a Nico stock looks. We saw it. We saw it in this set. Oh, this time, air dodges safely around that tilt and that reverse aerial not quite going to do it but I have to imagine that another one will especially at this part of the stage Whew. thought I'm with that near into up air once again same thing that closed out the last game and Vladin right now has the lead in game 5 got him with that edge guard Nico barely he missed he didn't have enough time to swing after that smash mode look at how careful Vladin is being he's just drifting back even with that jump? smash art that, I'm surprised that didn't kill Vladin saved his jump there after that 2 frame very impressive stuff. Did not jump, just up B, got hit out of it, had enough to make it back. Mm -hmm. And that is just the difference between an amateur and a veteran player. Mm -hmm. Aladdin can just go knowing when to conserve his options. And, you know, uh, when a character such as Shulk can really throw the kitchen sink and almost everything at you, he knows when he has his resources to just get out of bad situations right. like that. Dude. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. Aladdin with the SD up being the wrong way. A little bit unfortunate, but the momentum he has right now is absurd. But as we've seen before, Nico's momentum shifts are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Like, never before seen. <laughs> Sex in place. Not going to be read by Baladin this time, but just going to be cautious. Even though there's no art active, might want to conserve the shield a bit for when there's a threatening art. Got him with that Nair. Damage time for Nico. He needs this in opening. Baladin catching that. He called him out. He ran. F smash, a hard call out, but this time he's just going to go low with the jump art activated. I thought he was going to counter down there, but opted to go for a back air or a safe uh, like recovery instead. Didn't want to get screwed over. Nico almost getting that nair dare. There's some offstage shield art coming out, so. Smart, smart. Knows that if he, if he, even if he does get edge guarded. Wait, is he dead? Faladin. Faladin. I mean, say it twice because he's looking so nice. He's just ping-ponging him back and forth from one side of the stage to the other. He did not let him get off the ledge there. He was determined to kill him. Let's see how Nico's going to bring this back. Like, this is looking like Vladin's set. Gets an up air off of the double, uh, off of the dancing blade. Right the roll! Got him. Oh, uh, mistimed the F smash. Nico. All right, what's he going to do? Vladin opting not to jump. Nico has to take the stock. He used his jump early, but saved the Dolphin Splash for later. All right, Nico. Nico's he has determination in his eyes. I can see it in Shulk's model. Clutch back air. This one, a ticket into winner's finals is on the line. Nico stock. Use the invincibility of the shield of the... Oh my goodness, he used the invincibility to get past the back air and land safely on stage. Missed the tech, but he's just going to fall off stage. Was not able to tech chase too hard off that. Although that falling there is going to do gonna it. Vladin with a reverse 3-0 on Nico. And Nico just so frustrated after that. Knew he was nothing, just helpless in the face of that train's worth of momentum that was coming in from Vladin. What a showing from both players. Vladin's, you can tell he's either played the matchup a lot or studied the matchup a lot. Mm -hmm. Very entertaining to watch, and I believe I'm up now. Okay. It's a pleasure commentating. You as well. If you do make it all the way to Grands, hopefully we'll be able to see you back for the losers' matches too.